Okay, these are similar versus different questions. Um, the first thing that's important is to know when to use this, okay? So you're going to use this strategy when you have two blank questions without keywords. So when you have vocab questions that have two blanks, right, and you don't see keywords in the sentence. So I'll give you an example. So a sentence might say something like, um, uh, his playing in the soccer game today could be characterized as blank although normally he played like blank right so there those that could be a million different things right his playing could be funny while usually it's not funny or um, his playing was excellent while usually his playing is horrible right so you don't really know what the exact word should be in that blank so the only thing that you can do in situations like that well, step one says, do not force filling in um, the blanks, okay? So don't try putting in words um, when you don't have keywords, right? So how do I know if that blank should be excellent versus funny, right? Um, I don't. I don't know what the first blank should be, right? So, um, I'm, or the second blank, sorry, any of the blanks, right? So I'm not going to force filling in words into those blanks, okay? Step two says decide whether the blank should be similar or different from one another. So what I can tell from my sentence is whether those two words in my sentence need to be the same, right, or different, right? So in my sentence that was the soccer players playing in the game could be characterized as blank, although normally it was blank, right? I know that those two blanks need to be different from one another. Okay, so I figured out that the two pairs of words are antonyms. Okay, so now if I go to step three, find an answer choice that matches. So I can go down my answer choices, finding the two pairs of words, right, that are actually um, antonyms, right? And don't get tricked by two pa a pair of words that are different, but kind of just random different, right? I want almost exact opposites. I want antonyms, okay? So that's basically the process, all right? When you come across a two blank question where you have zero keywords, um, figure out whether those two blanks need to be similar or different, and then find an answer choice that matches what you, what you decided.